Hello, a very good afternoon to all of you. My warm wishes to all my viewers, and I also wish a very safe day during this pandemic periods. Okay. Today we'll go for a short topic that is the parts of a flower. So let's discuss about it. <coughs> As you know, the plants consist of two different parts. Okay, the part of the plant body that remain below the soil called as root. This portion is called as root, and the part which is above the soil is determined as shoot. It's called as this is the shoot part. the shoot consist of stem branches leaf and flower the root it is primary root secondary the root here adventitious root so many uh, so many divisions are there the roots help in encourage of plant it also help in uh, absorbing mineral water for the plant body okay so the root and shoot have specific functions the shoot part the stem uh, it help in uh, receiving sunlight by the leaves the leaves help in photosynthesis so they have also important function among these the flowers are in sexually reproducing plant the flowers have important aspects in reproduction before uh, analyzing the part of a flower we have to enter through some common term, terms monoecious condition we know it monoecious monoecious dioecious dioecious monoecious means bisexual when a single body consists of both male and female part it is called as monoecious or hermaphroditic dioecious it is otherwise called as unisexual condition when two different bodies are there for carrying male and female part okay so uh, the flowers may be monoecious or dioecious okay so let's discuss about different part of a flower what are different parts as you know the flower is a modified shoot okay flower is a modified shoot the floral gene get activated uh, for producing flower the plants also receive light for initiation of flowering in that aspect we are classifying plants into long day plants short day plants day neutral plants so on. so the first part is petiole okay the part or uh, the part which join the flower with the plant which is called as stalk or petiole this is petiole the upper part of the pedicel gets solen it is solen to form thalamus okay the stalk when stalk is present uh, it is stalked flower stalk when it is absent it is uh, pedicel is found it is pedicellate or stalked flower when it is absent uh, it is called as sessile okay pedicel so below the thalamus there is calyx calyx it's a green part uh, during bud condition it protect the bud protect the bud below the thalamus there is calyx the individual unit of calyx is called as sepal okay above the thalamus there are colored units called as corolla the individual units of corolla these are 
द इंडिविजुअल यूनिट्स ऑफ कोरोला आर कॉल्ड एज पेटल व्हाट आर द फंक्शन इट इज मेड फॉर अट्रैक्टिंग इंसेक्ट्स अट्रैक्टिंग एनिमल्स फॉर पॉलिनेशन ऑफ फ्लावर ओके द कोरोला इज वेरी मच अट्रैक्टिव हैविंग डिफरेंट कलरेशंस ओके देन एंड्रोसियम द मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव पार्ट इज एंड्रोसियम एंड फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव पार्ट इज गायनोसियम सो हाउ मेनी पार्ट्स आर देयर देर आर फोर डिफरेंट पार्ट्स कैलिक्स कोरोला एंड्रोसियम गायनोसियम वेन ऑल दिस पार्ट्स आर प्रेजेंट इन ए फ्लावर इट इज सेड टू बी कम्प्लीट फ्लावर अदरवाइज इट इज नट कम्प्लीट सो वी हैव टू फास्ट गो फॉर द मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव पार्ट दैट इज कॉल्ड एज एंड्रोसियम द मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव पार्ट एंड्रोसियम द इंडिविजुअल यूनिट ऑफ एंड्रोसियम इज कॉल्ड एज स्टामेन व्हाट स्टामेन एक्चुअली बियर्स इफ वी एनालाइज द स्टामेन कंसिस्ट ऑफ ए बाई लोब्ड आंथर टू लोब्स ऑफ आंथर and a filament the filament help in attachment with thalamus it is attached to thalamus each lobe of anther is again divided by theca each lobe are again divided by theca theca okay so it is uh, it is seems that suppose this is one lobe of panther suppose these are two lobes inside each lobe there is a theca there is a theca theca hence four chambers in two lobes of panther so we can call it dithecus dithecus each lobe is dithecus Each lobe, okay. So four chambers are found in anther. Inside each anther, pollen grain formation takes place by the process of microsporogenesis. Okay. So next come to the female reproductive unit that is gynosium. Like stamen, the individual unit of gynosium. is called as carpel called as carpel what are the components of carpel it consist of this part is stigma which is sticky for receiving pollen grain this sticky part is stigma when pollen grain fall on it it is <coughs> help in germination of pollen this part is style and this part is ovary <coughs> the female reproductive part <coughs> is complex among all of our plants okay so the individual unit of uh, gynosium is carpel okay there is a placenta this is called as placenta above the placenta there is ovule there is ovule there is ovule this is ovule within the ovule there is female gamete okay female gamete after fertilization they changed into different components what happened the ovary became a fruit and ovule became seed this uh, female gamete became zygote and it became the miniature of small plant okay uh, when sometimes it is found that the individual carpels are fused this is called as sin carpus condition when there are many carpels are found in one flower one gynosium it is called as 
मल्टी कार्पस सिंगल कार्पस मीन मोनो कार्पेल आर ओके सो इट इज ऑल अबाउट कार्पेल लाइक दैट व्हेन द स्टामिन्स नेवर अटैच टू थैलेमस थैलेमस में अटैच होगा व्हेन द समटाइम्स द स्टामिन्स गेट अटैच टू पेटल दिस कंडीशन इज कॉल्ड एज एपी पेटालस कंडीशन एपी पेटालस कंडीशन ओके अच्छा सो दिस आर द various parts of flower will read in detail during micro and mega sporogenesis okay thank you all